what's up everyone here today to do a one piece theory video so basically as you can see in the title um i'm gonna talk about why i believe that marshall d tech aka blackbeard can have two devil fruits and the reasoning behind it so just to note these are all my opinion obviously we don't know why it's possible or how he can do that but i'll let you know why i think that he can and a couple other things to add to it so i hear a lot of people's theory is that they believe that his devil fruit is what enables him to be able to take two devil fruits or some people say even more but i feel that it is not related to his devil fruit um i know i've heard very many people talk about it but yes I do believe that it has something to do with the will of D and also I've heard something about people say like his body I don't believe in that either so if it has something to do with his devil fruit uh, the first example when Ace and Blackbeard were fighting and he disabled Ace's devil fruit for the first time he stated that this is exactly why I wanted this devil fruit it disables devil fruit eaters and at that moment i feel that he would have told him and okay some people say well why would he reveal it or why would he just reveal it like that okay second example when blackbeard took his devil fruit or whitebeard's devil fruit he stated the powers of both of the fruits that he had he uses the darkness darkness fruit and he sucks in a couple of marines and he says that uh, this is the power to turn things into nothing and this power is to destroy all and he uses white beers. I feel that he would have stated right then and there that yeah this is why I got this devil fruit so I could start stealing devil fruits and some people also say that well like why would he reveal it okay this is my biggest point of why it can't be his devil fruit so we all know that there's only one of that one of each devil fruit in the one piece world if that was the case he has the dark dark fruit and nobody else can steal it from him so if he could just take white beard's devil fruit why would he put a huge like tarp over white beard so people didn't see what he was doing if it was something that had to do with his devil fruit he could easily just do it in front of everyone and they would just be like oh my gosh because they can't steal his devil fruit which it would be hard to anyways because he's really strong but if that was the case he wouldn't have to put a tarp over whitebeard's body and not show people what he were doing because either one of two it can be done by normal people or it can be done by certain types of people and I'll get a little into that. So, why I believe that it has something to do with the will of D. So, um, the first thing, well, it, this is just my opinion, like I said, uh, there were two questions that were brought into my head and I'm sure a lot of people's heads who, for the first time when they saw Blackbeard steal the devil fruit from Whitebeard was that, how the hell did he do that? And in my opinion, the second question was, can Luffy do that? And as we know, Oda is the king of foreshadowing. And I feel that because Blackbeard is the main villain. Like, even if Luffy does superpower up or has, like, crazy good hockey, I, I, don't, I couldn't see it happening. Luffy beating him without some other sort of power up and i'm not exactly sure like i said but just my opinion i do believe that luffy will have two devil fruits and way before this uh arc that's in the manga right now i'm, I'm not gonna spoil too much for people who don't know uh ace's devil fruit reappearing definitely also was another sign in my opinion yes it could go to other people but there is the possibility that it could go to luffy but um who knows because uh there we don't know the way as of now but 
that's all I have. Just wanted to get my thoughts out there about what I thought about the whole Blackbeard 2 Devil Fruits theory and all this stuff. But um, that's all I have. And let me know your guys' opinion. Thanks.